Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the maximum mass of the lamp that the cord system can support so that no single cord develops a tension exceeding 400 Newton, right? So in this problem, we are given that these five cords can support a maximum tension of 400 Newton, right? So with this condition, we are required to find the maximum mass that can be supported uh, so that the tension in these five cables must be less than or equal to this 400 newton right so in this problem what we will do is that we will first find the cord or rope which will have the maximum tension of all right so how to solve this problem this is the equilibrium problem so first of all what we will do is that we will consider this ring D uh, for equilibrium, right? So if we draw the free body diagram of this ring D, so then we will have uh, this CD force and here the force in this DF cord will be equal to the weight of uh, this lamp, right? So if I represent that, so then we will have, let's say that the mass of uh, this lamp is m right so this the force in this df cord will be 9.81 times m similarly the tension in this de cord is let's say de and similarly the tension in this cd cord is let's say cd right so now what we will do is that we will analyze this ring d for equilibrium right so if we write that at a ring d so if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and let's say that this is our positive x and positive y direction right so if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and let's say that this is our positive direction so now as we can see that if we resolve this de4 so it will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction similarly it will have one component which will be acting in this direction so this is the cos component and this is the sine component right we can write that this is de sine of 30 degrees right so we will write plus de sine of 30 degrees and minus this 9.81 m right it is acting in the negative y direction right so we will write minus 9.81 m equals to 0 so from this de equals to 9.81 m divided by sine of 30 degrees so from this we can write that de the tension in de cord is equal to 19.62 times m right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at ring d and let's say that this is our positive x positive direction since this is our positive x axis is right so then as we can see that we have again these two comp this cd force which is acting in the negative direction and this the cos component of de right this is de cos of 30 degrees right so we can write that this CD is acting in the negative direction, so I will write minus CD plus this cos component which is acting in the positive direction. So we will write this as DE cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0. So from this we can write that CD equals to DE cos of 30 degrees and DE is 19.62 M. So we can write that this is 19.62 M cos of 30 degrees so from this cd equals to 16.99 m right so all these uh, tension will be in terms of the mass of that lamp right so this cd is 16.99 m now next what we will do is that we will analyze ring c for equilibrium right so then we will draw the free body diagram of that ring c right so then we will isolate the cords associated with that ring c right so then this will be cd tension cd tension is now known which is 16.99 m this is cd right remember i will write here as cd this one is ac right and this one is bc and bc is making 
45 degrees with the horizontal right so let me write that this is bc right so now uh, if i draw a horizontal line here so if this angle is 45 then this angle is also 45 degrees and here let's say that the angle is theta and this theta is given in the form of this triangle right so this is the base perpendicular and hypotenuse of this triangle right so now uh, i will write that at ring c right so at ring c if we apply again the summation of forces along y equals to zero so then as we can see that this ac will have uh, one component should be acting vertically upward and this is the sine component right we can write that this is ac sine of theta and similarly this bc will have one component should be acting vertically downward and this is again the sine component so this is bc sine of 45 degrees so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so we will write ac sine of theta so ac sine of theta is positive since it is acting in the positive y direction and from this triangle we can write that this is four this is three and this is five and this is theta so from this triangle we can write that sine theta is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so this means that this is four divided by five right minus this bc sine of 45 right so i will write minus bc sine of 45 degrees and this will be equal to zero so from this we can write that ac equals to 5 divided by 4 this will be cross multiplied right so 4 5 divided by 4 bc sine of 45 degrees so from this ac equals to 0 0.884 bc right this is in terms of bc right now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 at ring c so now as we can see that this cd is acting in the positive direction so i will write 16.99 m this is acting in the positive direction this ac will have one component which will be acting in this direction in the negative x and this is the cos component so we will write minus ac cos of theta and again from this triangle cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so this is 3 divided by 5 right and similarly this bc will have one component which will be acting in this same direction right so we can write that this is again minus bc and it is cos of 45 degrees and this is equal to 0 right so now ac we know ac in terms of bc so we can replace this ac so i will write minus ac is 0 0.8843 divided by 5 into bc minus bc in cos of 45 degrees and we can bring this to the other side right so this will become minus 16.99 m and if we multiply this whole equation with minus sign so all these signs will become positive we can take bc common from this right so if we take bc common from this so this is 0 0.884 into 3 divided by 5 plus cos of 45 degrees equals to 16.99 m so this whole term is equal to 1.2374 this is 16.99 m so bc equals to 16.99 divided by this term right so this is equal to 13.73 m right so now this bc is in terms of m and let's say that this is equation a so now if we put this bc in this equation so then that ac we can write that ac is equal to 0 0.884 bc and bc is 13.73 m so from this ac equals to 12.14 m now if we observe all these forces right if we observe this de force so it is 19.62 times m right this ac is 12.14 uh, times m this cd is 16.99 times m and this bc is 13.73 times m 
and again we know that df this df card force is equal to 9.81 m right so this means that the maximum force that is developed is in this de since this 19.62 this is the large number which is multiplied with this mass m right so this means that de is under maximum tension right so we can write that de equals to 19.62 m right so if we assume that this de is and the tension in de is equal to 400 newton right so if we equate this de equals to 400 newton so then we will get the mass the maximum mass that that can be supported right so then this 400 divided by 19.62 so from this the mass that can be supported is equal to 20.4 kg right so in the problem it is said that determine the maximum mass of the limb that can be supported so that no single car develops a tension exceeding 400 newton right so the if we keep the mass of the limb equal to 20.4 kg so then this de will be under maximum tension and this de the tension in this de will be equal to 400 newton so it will not exceed 400 newton right and all the remaining uh, cords will have a uh, detention less than 400 newton right so this is the solution of this particular problem